it's your girl Jasmine G and as y'all can tell by the title this is another Be My Valentine's video. I have done took a break but I feel like I'm gonna bring it back because I'm gonna be doing like two videos in one so we're good for now but as you can tell by the title we're gonna be reviewing the ABH Norvina collection volume three. This just came out literally not too long ago um very excited about this if you guys haven't yet make sure you guys check out my last video not my last video but my last review video of me reviewing the Amreezy palette I had bought these two together but this came out like a little bit after the Amreezy um, palette and I am literally so excited this palette had costed $29 so like with shipping and stuff like that and tax it's going to be a little bit over $30 and this is this here it is outside of the package. I literally cannot talk. I'm loving the cherries, the packaging of it, like reflecting and stuff. It's like so cute, great for traveling. And yeah, I got nine shades. And based off the colors, I'm really intrigued by it because it looks very pigmented. And like this is like a color story you kind of never really seen before. Like you got the red, the maroon, then like um i want to say yeah blue green like it's not really a color like it's not really a color story that you have seen before so i like the uniqueness of this like i can always use this palette for sure because i'm always needing a bright red i haven't really tried that light blue yet so i'm happy for that and i love like the maroon color because that's like the color i kind of go for when i do like an everyday eyeshadow look but yeah, you guys, let's go ahead and get into this review. So the other part of this video is I'm going to be recreating one of my looks that I did last year around Valentine's. I'm probably put it up right here. So I'm going to try to recreate that look with this palette right here. So that's going to be like kind of like my two video, like my two things of this video. So I'm reviewing it and I'm giving y'all a Valentine's Day look while... um doing a look that I did last year so but yeah I'm going to just keep my base how it is just to see how really good the pigment shows on this I think I want to go ahead and start with the pink at the top let's go ahead and zoom you guys and do not pay attention to my legs it is very visible <laughs> But yeah so we're going to go ahead with the pink so the pink actually got some shimmer in it it looks like the green has some shimmer in it as well, but not as much as the pink. And uh, let's go ahead and see. I'm going to put the pink like right here. Oh yes, this pink got a lot of sparkle in it. Yeah, I probably should have definitely grabbed my white base. Or not. <laughs> Or not. Y'all see that? Okay, I'm patting it on. Oh, wow. That just surprised me. Maybe because that was like the first layer of it. I had to really like get in there. Oh, wow. I don't know, you guys. This might really be worth the $30. This is incredible. I like, I like the sparkle, but it's like... I'd rather not have the sparkle in it for this look I think we'll probably be perfect with it because it's Valentine's you know sparkle you know like it fits but like any other time would I probably want the sparkle in it would I want it would I want to have a matte look you know what I'm saying so uh, I feel like the sparkle is uh, is like a plus it's like a good thing and a, a, a not good thing at the same time so let's go ahead and like blend it out a little bit at the top. Yeah, and it's not disappearing when I'm swiping it away. So that's a good thing. Not as much as I could tell. I feel like that pink is on there really, really good. Oh, wow. Let's go ahead and finish packing this on. This pink, this pink is really, really cute though. I love the sparkle. But I'm just trying to think if I want to use this pink in a, in a, like with another look where I want it to be sparkly. I know I probably just said that. <laughs> but like with this look, it's perfect. It's like listening. I really like that pink. That was amazing. Let's go ahead and put that on the same eye. Yeah, so like when I first put it on, it's like not there. But then it's like as soon as I do that, but the second one, it is there, child. Yeah, 
That pink is so freaking cute. So I know probably if I would have used the white base, that would have really like popped. And thing is, I believe like when when like Norvina does her looks like with the big collections and stuff like that, she don't give the eyeshadows any name. She just go by A1, A2, stuff like that. Which I feel like I feel like you shouldn't do that with like like this is not her first one doing that with. I feel like probably for the bigger ones, maybe, but I still love like a good name of a shadow you know even though now that the I won't remember it which I guess like that's good too like to remember like say when you're doing this it's easy to call out like oh B3 I'm pretty sure that's B3 yeah that's like it's easier to do it that way which I understand so I guess that's more rememberable rememberable but I just love the whole like a good shadow name I feel like if you are going to have like the shadow name on the back, then yeah, that's probably a good thing to do, to do the whole row thing. I'm going to end up putting this all over my eyelid. That pink is freaking gorgeous. And I had um, shaved my eyebrows. I don't know if you guys could tell because usually I just um, conceal it this way, but it's really shaved. So yeah, I feel like you can kind of tell like right there. Yeah, this pink is so freaking cute. And I feel like this color like plays so good on my skin tone as well. I feel like this pink was actually made from like my skin tone. Like it give it that look like, ooh, like shimmy shimmy. <laughs> Let's go ahead with the red and pack that red on at the bottom. So, so far, I'm really loving it because the fact that I don't have to grab like my white eyeshadow base. Now we're digging into that red. Let's see how pigmented this red is going to show. And we're just going to put that at the bottom. Oh, wow. That red is showing. I feel like the only other red I have is from the James Charles Murphy palette, Morphe palette, and um, you have to do a lot of work with that. You see that, like that payoff already is perfect. And it's like with the Morphe palette, I have to use like a white eyeshadow base. This I don't. Like I'm getting the same thing if I would with the Morphe palette with that. So. I don't know, like that $29 might be worth it, you guys. It might be worth it. So, so far I'm not um, getting any fallout with the shadow. And I'm trying to see like how equal I want this red and this pink to be. I feel like that looks so freaking pretty. I feel like a little more pink because I feel like it's not as bright as I It's the pink. I'm looking for like the James Charles pink. The um his name is Skip. Yeah. So this is like not as bright as I want it, but that's not because of the shadow itself. Like the shadow is giving me its color. I just want a brighter pink. But this palette is definitely perfect for Valentine's Day, you guys. Because of these two colors right here, which I feel like is so freaking gorgeous. But I feel like this pink definitely plays. It's good. Like, it's very good. Like, this pink is very correlated with this red what do you guys think so far so i use this at the bottom this at the top and i'm gonna be putting this in the middle i feel like with um a2 i think i'm gonna definitely it's like chalk like chunky like it's not a shadow it's definitely glitter 
I'm trying to see if I would have, have to spray um, a setting spray. Like, do I need to wet the brush? I hate wetting, wetting my brush. I don't like pigments like this. I wish it was just like a regular shadow. That show up way better. It's like it's kind of chunky, so hopefully I can get this heart shape. So basically, I'm just going for like a V. So I'm like going for a V, basically. A fat V. I feel like that's a. It's not bad. It's not bad. I feel like that's not bad. So like of course when I look straight, it like it creases. But when I close my eyes, it looks very, very good. <laughs> I feel like it's not bad. Like it's really not bad at all. Oh wow, I feel like that looks so pretty. Alright, let's try the other side. I feel like this is so easy compared to last year. The last year, like, I was, like, stuck on one eye. It's just, like, boom, bam, done. But, yeah, so basically, just, like, draw out a V. <laughs> and then, you know. Because I feel like it's going to end up round anyhow. It looks like I'm into the shadow now that I, like, beat out the top. I'm trying to do this with my eyes closed too. Look at that one. It's like Mickey Mouse ears. So of course that had fallout. But I feel like that wasn't bad at all. Wow, quick and easy. The pigment shows right away. This is the palette once again, you guys. This palette is so freaking adorable. I really like that. I feel like it looks so good. Let's go ahead and put on my lashes and I'm going to be right back. Alright you guys, so this is the finished look right here. A recreation of my look from last year using the ABH Novena Collection Volume 3. I will give this um, probably like an 8.5 out of 10 because of one of the size. Just like I would probably wish for like a bigger pan. Like I feel like they could have went a little bit bigger for $30. Um, the pigmentation was great. Um, yeah. I feel like when I first swiped A2, I feel like it wasn't pigmented enough and it could have, like I don't like using setting spray to like bring out the pigment of eyeshadows, but I know some eyeshadows is really set up that way for you to use it. And then it could have been because it was like the first swipe. Cause I know once you get under it, you know, the pigmentation is real good and you don't need no spray. And I know ABH is really good for their pigmentation. I feel like that's never really a problem. But yeah, um, 8.5 out of 10 because of the size. And I feel like the price, probably like $25, $24. So they usually like, they, they don't have like a whole dollar. It's usually like $24 or stuff like that. So I feel like $24 for this would have been like a great price point. Because by the time you're done with um, tax and shipping and stuff like that, it's usually around that $30 but with this it's probably like $35 and stuff like that with tax so I feel like they could bring the price down just a little bit or make this um, a tad bit bigger so yeah I really love this I love the pigmentation I love the color story I'm definitely going to be doing more looks with this um, and yeah you guys I have a video that's going live like literally right now as I'm recording this it's 11 o'clock p.m. EST and yeah so make sure you guys check out my last video it's um of hello fresh i have a link in my description for that if you guys want to use my code to save 40 dollars and yeah you guys make sure you guys follow me on instagram makeup by jasmine g subscribe and hit that bell so you guys get notified every time i upload and i'll see you guys soon Brown skin, pretty brown eyes, slim waist, but her hips kinda wide, thick thighs. She about five five or about five six. Pretty tits sitting high, legs crossed when she sit. Hair was hanging by the inch, then she cut it off. Eyebrows on fleek, can't rub it off.